Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to a new video. This time I will be talking about the Iraqi copy, the M85 gas mask. And I will speak about all of the mystery around this gas mask and everything I know about it. So, usually I start with the history and the background of the gas mask that I will talk about. But this time I will start about the manufacturing of this gas mask and what are the differences and the similarities between the Iraqi M85 and the Romanian M85. So, first of all, the most obvious thing in my opinion are the eyepieces. This time the Iraqi M85 doesn't use crimped rings, metallic rings. It uses some plastic rings that stay in place by pressure using screws, one screw for each eyepiece. Also, it doesn't use uh, a metallic ring for the voice diaphragm. For the M85 it uses a metallic ring. For the Iraqi M85 it uses a plastic one that also stays uh, in place by pressure using a, a screw. Another thing that you can see here is the manufacturing quality is not as good as the Romanian one. It was very interesting when I compared to this gas mask is that uh, the Iraqi one has a lot of uh, rubber leftovers all around of it. A lot of surplus rubber let's say on every edge of the gas mask which on the Romanian gas mask like the M74 or the M85 you can't really find surplus rubber which is very weird to say and it has a very interesting stamp that makes the Iraqi one uh, very different let's say compared to the Romanian one it's the stamp on the forehead which is the Mosul if, if I pronounce that right uh, the Mosul Mosque Tower that should be the first thing you should look for uh, to know if you have the Iraqi one or the Romanian one but usually or in all of the cases actually besides the stamp there is the eye rings that are very different the exhale uh, exhale valve and the voice diaphragm uh, ring also which is different from the romanian one but besides that uh, almost everything is identical it uses the same fast release uh, head harness uh, it has a neck strap which is almost similar it has a very different texture though uh, compared to the romanian one um, another uh, very weird uh, thing is that it doesn't have the manufacturing stamp under the chin inside of the mask. You can't really find that there, but you can find it on the back of the head harness. Mine is dated in 1986 and another interesting detail is that uh, the oral nasal cup has a size stamped on it. The Romanian gas mask doesn't have uh, sizes stamped on the oral nasal cup. And another thing that I observed by comparing this gas mask, if this is the right filter of the mask, the one that I have here attached to it, is that they used the M74 style filters, the CF4 filter, and it doesn't have any stamps on it like the CF4 or the CF85 would have, like the production stamp, uh, the lot number, or anything like that. Usually these filters would have the markings around them. This one has a very weird stamp under it and I don't really know what that means. And uh, what was the strangest part uh, when I was looking to this gas mask is that it has a stamp on the forehead under the peripheral seal with the letter D in Latin which makes it very weird considered that it was manufactured and issued to an Arabic country. So from here, I will start with the background and how this gas mask was produced in Iraq. As I said in the previous video about M74 and M85 gas masks, uh, Ceausescu started trading with, and the Romanian regime started trading with a lot of Western countries, but also Ceausescu had great, great relations with the Middle East countries like Iraq, Egypt, uh, Libya, Syria, and so on. And he sold a lot of weapons and technology, military technology, and also uh, oil extracting technology. Romania exported a lot of those uh, in Middle Eastern countries. The, the only thing that backs up what I'm going to say, it's a pretty old article that I found on the internet while searching more information about the Rome Carbon factory. 
and uh, in this article it's obviously in Romanian they stated that they, they were talking about the history of the company and so on they stated that uh, back in the 80s uh, the Ron Carbon factory which was Chimica called back then they were sent to Iraq to build a gas mass factory and in the city of Mosul and they also sold to the Iraqis the blueprints for the M85 gas mask why they used the uh, uh, plastic rings instead of metal ones it's unknown to me but as I said these gas masks are very similar it's obviously a direct copy a direct licensed copy of the Romanian M85 it's it's very interesting for me to be honest that they got this gas mask from us and that's for the manufacturing part and as I said it's where it has a Latin letter inside instead of a Arabic letter let's say and I have two theories for that it's either because of the blueprints that they got from Romania and those blueprints weren't comp compatible with Arabic letters maybe I'm not really sure how they manufactured the gas masks and uh, my second theory is that I mean it, it was it is more of a Romanian theory. Before discovering that article and uh, seeing this stamp with the Mos Mosul Mosque Tower, we always thought this was an export variant of gas mask from Romania, an export for any country that wanted to buy them. And obviously, if the gas mask was manufactured in a, a country that uses the Latin alphabet, we thought that okay maybe it is manufactured in Romania but why would they use a stamp uh, with a mosque on it since Romania is not a Muslim country for example so my personal opinion is that it is fully manufactured it was fully manufactured in Iraq since 1980s late 1980s until the first Gulf War using Romanian blueprints and I think that's everything about it so let's recap a little bit Romania gave Iraq blueprints and built for them a, a factory in the city of Mosul. They started producing M85 gas mask. And what I've heard from a Romanian veteran from the second Gulf War, because back then Romania part participated in that one, but not in the first one. He heard from the American soldiers, but again, this is just a story. I don't have any proof to back that up. Is that in the first Gulf War, they actually destroyed the factory in the Mosul city. So it is also considered, and I find this extremely fascinating, it is also considered a war trophy because obviously they are not produced anymore. I'm pretty sure that they are not even issued anymore in Iraq. Maybe they are in scarce number or in bad conditions. You can find them mostly in the United States from Americans that were in the first and probably in the second Gulf War in Iraq. And um, I find this very interesting. It makes me think of the Luger pistols from World War II that Americans would take them from Europe to, to the United States. Uh, unfortunately, I do not own the entire kit. I only have the gas mask and what I believe to be its real filter. And I'll show you some pictures. You can see that uh, the, the carry bag is totally different from the Romanian one. It seems to be made out of canvas and it would also come with a totally different decontamination kit but i do not know much more details than that and in the end i really want to thank uh, sirius tinker for uh, trading this gas mask with me and i would also want to thank uh, gasmask.collector from instagram for sharing with me the pictures with uh, the carry bag and the decontamination kit uh, of the iraqi m85 so I hope you found this video very interesting. As I said, this is a gas mask that I wanted for a very long time and I really like it. I really like the story behind it. In the end, let's say it's just another copy. It's interesting because a lot of people think that it is just a Romanian gas mask or it's just an export gas mask from Romania. But no, as I said, they were manufactured in Iraq. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.